You must be Hannah's mother. And you must be the woman that gave her away. You'd better come in. I thought this might happen one day. I thought she'd be with someone who really cared about her. That's what kept me going. I thought she'd be with someone who could give her everything that I couldn't. Don't you think I'd try? Oh, yeah. Look, hang on a minute. Sit down. She wasn't an easy child. She was jealous of Sarah. In fact, she hated her. And when Robbie was born, she was even worse. She went completely wild. I couldn't do anything with her. So you gave her up? Oh, not at first, no. I kept thinking things would get better. We took her to see child psychologists, doctors. I felt such a failure. Bollocks. You thought we got our own kids now. We don't want this other one getting in the way. No. Messing things up. No. Let's dump her. Let's kick her out. I looked after Hannah for nearly 12 years. I didn't kick her out. She'd have been better off with me. Because I might not have been the best mother in the world, but I'd have given her love. Maybe all that's right. all she needed. Maybe that's all she wanted. Do you know what day it is today? I think you better go. It's her birthday. Big deal. Do you want to see what your daughter did when I was nine years old? She said she was going to cut my hair. She tied me to the chair and cut it all off until my scalp was bleeding. But she wasn't content with that. She stabbed me three times with the scissors. I had 27 stitches. That's why my mother let them take her away. I was just wondering, now that I've got my neck brace off, if you'd like me to carry on maiden for you. What's that? What's it look like? Looks like it's toppled over and brought half the wall down with it. Do you know where Tracy is? No, I don't. And I don't bloody care. I'll see you later in the pub. What time do you finish? Ring me. Get one of my cards off there. Tracy's naughty massage parlour. Nice one. <laughs> What's in here? My clothes. Leave it. Look at this lot. You must be worth a friggin' fortune. Nah, I don't come cheap anymore. They pay good money for me. How much? As much as I can get. Start at 50. Sometimes I get a ton. I'll tell you what. I'll bring a little lifter with me tonight. I've got my own little lifter, thanks. Really? What are you on, babe? Like a quick of a pipe now and then. Who'd you get that shite off? We tell him. Tracy's personal. Oh. Tracy's personal assistant. How may I help you? I wanted to speak to Colette. I thought I'd run her number. Oh, hang on a minute. All these phones look the same to me. Shall I shout her? Could you tell her Lionel would like to make an Lionel. appointment? Lionel, the solicitor, Lionel. Yes. Well, this is Anita. Oh. Yeah. You must remember me. I kicked your arse. Not very hard. But it was my first time when I've been practising. Are you the lady with the rather nice black spangly dress? Yeah, that's right. Right. Colette's very busy today and this evening, but I was thinking... I could meet you if you like. Yes. Well, um, I'll come to the house as usual then, shall I? No. You see, all the rooms are in use, but we could go to a hotel and... I could knock something off the price because I'm just a beginner. OK. Shall we say the Newford Gardens? Lovely. About half past seven, then, yeah. 
Perfect. By the way, all that information you gave me about dodgy money came in really handy. Oh, hang on a minute. Bye. Have you found her? Who? Tracy. I bet you've got that many punters you don't know what to do with them. I know exactly what to do with them. Bill? It's Colette. You robbed me. Cross has come off the wall. I don't know. I You're the carpenter. You tell me. I just want it fixed. Right. So get yourself round here. I'll see to it. Bastard. Who's he? He's the punts that bashed her up. He half killed her. God knows what she's doing with him. Brainless bimbo. What's she doing in the bleeding crack house? It wasn't exactly a crack house. Not as good as. And she had the stuff on that. Jesus Christ. How many things can go wrong on a deal? Ferguson's dead. Now the tart's been busted. Find out what she said to the coppers. What are we going to do about Belgium? One thing at a time. Let's find out what she said first. And, uh... So saw that Brenda Taylor woman and all. Should I let you out, then? That bloke on cross says, um, he's taking you to court. Said he broke his nose. Looked a bit skewish to me. I had to untie him. You're not talking to me. I had to tell cops it were you, cos I knew you were clean. I know you didn't have any shit on you and it'd be your word against mine. I knew they'd let you out. You're not going to say out then? <laughs> Ever do that again and you're dead! Do you hear me? Go on, man. Lost your bottle. You said this Tracy had a lead to one of the main suppliers. Well, she give us sod all. Said her mate had given her. Well, she ain't gonna point a finger at the main man just like that, is she? You've gotta get it out of her. Look, I know it brings stuff in. We're talking big time here. And I'm telling you, I want proper money for it. We want to know when and where he's doing the business, do you understand? Then you'll get paid some proper money. And what am I supposed to do with 20 piddling quid? Buy yourself some clothes and get a job like the rest of us have to. Go suck your dick. Asshole! Crackheads, he legged it. Here, did you tell that bloke you're off to Belgium for that? I'm on for it. Jesus, you never stop, do you? It's dead as a dodo out here. Don't forget to tell him, will you? Listen, I'll see what I can do, yeah? And if you see Rabbit, tell him I'm after him, right? If you're gonna do a job, make sure you do it right. Difficult when you can't get the spares. I'm talking about finding people. You know, job you're supposed to do. What you're getting paid for, being a private investigator. You're crap. I take it she wasn't there. Yeah, well, you take it right. And if you'd done your job properly, you'd have found out they put her in a children's home in Sheffield when she was 12. All at and all. Have you been there? I've just bloody well come back from Manchester and I'm knackered. I thought you could go to Sheffield and earn some of that money I paid you. What money? I haven't seen a penny of it yet. Well, you're not going to either. Here, hang on a minute. What the bloody hell's up with you? Why do you give me grief every time I, I see you? Because I thought I'd had a private dick, not a dickhead, that's why. Look, I thought I'd found her. When a kid's adopted, they usually stay with the parents. I knew the Levisons still lived there. All right, maybe I should have checked it out. But these things take time and time's money, and I knew you didn't have much. And you're not getting any of it. You've no idea what I've been through. Shit in Nora.
Hello? Who is it? It's the big bad wolf. Red Riding Hood didn't play out. Just as well. Because I want to come in. So what's happening now? You've still got his nephew banged up? I cause... don't know. I'm off the case. You what? Suspend it till further notice. What for? Oh, abuse of authority, neglect of duty, acting unlawfully. You can take your pick. They've taken me warrant card. I'm finished. Why? What have you done? What have I bloody done? Well, I've let you off for a start, eh? You should be banged up, be right. Concealing evidence, accessory to murder. Oh, and I did not follow proper identification procedure. That bitch oil's grasped me up. She's gunning for DI and she wants me out. And you let her win? You stupid bastard. You must want your head tested. Oh, well, that's nice. That is frigging fantastic. I've owed 26 years in the force for you, and all I get is oh, you, didn't you at your end. I've done nothing wrong. I've murdered nobody. Happen if you'd have spent less time pulling us lot in and more time looking for crazy bastard who's going around killing people, you wouldn't have gone and got yourself sacked. What are you going to do? What are you going to live on? They still pay me. Oh? Well, what are you worrying about? What am I worrying about? You've still got your money. Jesus. You've got a one-track mind. Is that all you think about? Yeah. When you haven't got any, that's all you think about morning, noon and night. Do you want to know how much I'm getting from the SS? 60 frigging quid. You want to try living on that? Here. Take a look at my electric bill. 87 pounds. A free going. To rob a bleeding bank. Now you're talking. What's up with you, stupid prat? Come back. You will. You back then? No, nope. I'm still in bloody Manchester. Jesus, what have I said now? Not the one with the mark on. What's up with you? Nothing. Oh, you could have fooled me. The summit definitely up. Did you get to talk to her? It wasn't her, was it? They put her in an home when she were twelve bastards. No. Someone in bleeding Sheffield. I'm knackered and I feel like shit. I'm off that bed. Bleeding hell. That's a copper's knock if ever I've heard one. Yeah? Acting D.I. Hall. You don't say. Acting up, are we? Well, who's been a good girl, then? You were sergeant the last time I saw you. What happened? I'd like to speak to Rose Garrity, if I could. Well, I'll have to see if she wants to. She's a bit choosy about who she talks to. Is she in? Rose, do you want to talk to a two-faced piece of toad shite? Looks like she does. What you want to talk to me about? We'd just like to ask you a few questions regarding Granville Durkin. Would you mind coming down to the police station with us? Tracy, my little cherub. What a surprise. Yeah, I bet. Now then, I hear you've been a naughty girl. A little birdie told me you've been down the cop shop, chirping away. Which little bird is that, then? Why don't you take your clothes off and come in here with me? Because I don't want to, that's why. So what have you been telling our friends in blue? Nothing. I told them I got the stuff off a of mate. Her name's Colette. She's been in the nick because of it. Get off, you're hurting me foot! Sorry, Petal. You got me favourite on. Come in the water. Come on. Don't be a spot spot. Dress don't shrink. You'll buy me another if it does. Oh, well, I know. Belgium's off. I'm gonna be watching you. You've blown it, sweetheart. What if I know someone else that'll do it? A mate. Not the one I grasped on, another one. What if she went instead of me and I got a share of her cut? Go on, convince me. Did you ever walk for Granville Durkin? Me? Walk for Curly? Yeah, why not? You said he was a soft touch and that Carol didn't like walking for him, so 
Why not put on a pair of black stockings, parade around for a couple of minutes and earn yourself over 100 quid? Makes sense to me. Yeah, to me and all. But you were Carol's punter, not mine. Look, I know what you're getting at, but you're wasting your time. I were with someone when Curly got it. I want the name, address and telephone number and I'm warning you, love, if you're trying to put one over on me, I'll have you banged up that fast, your feet won't touch the ground. You stand by the information desk at the airport, someone will come over to you. I'll give you a kiss and I'll hand you the teddy bear, yeah? You're on the next flight back, so don't hang around. You get a taxi home from the airport and someone will contact you. Do I get to see Belgium? Just the airport. Do I get to keep the teddy, then? We'll buy you a dozen teddies if you get the stuff through, love. Here's your tickets and some money for the taxi. You've got to be at the airport an hour before your flight, so set off soon, yeah? And i go home and put something decent on if I were you. I ain't got out decent. <coughs> get yourself a pair of jeans or something. When do I get my stuff? And when you get the teddy. Hello. Yeah, boss? All set up? Yeah, everything's sorted. You sure they'll recognise her? They're hardly going to be able to miss her. Proper little decoy. She's going to have the teddy stuck out the top of the bag. Ah. <laughs> Take care of that little bit of business now, yeah? Nice one. Cheers. Time. Where were you? Sheffield. You know, doing that job. I'm crap back. Coppers were waiting for me when I got back. I nearly said I'd never clapped eyes on you. Like you nearly found my daughter, you mean? Seems like she legged it from the home when she was 15. Her and a mate ended up in Leeds on the game. No. She wouldn't be on the game. You got it wrong. You got her mixed up with someone else. Not my Hannah. When I say mercy, it's my password, and it means I want you to stop, right? No. Your password's daddy. You say daddy, then I stop. All right, but when I say daddy, you untie me, right? Straight away. Just a bit of harmless fun. What are you worried about? Nothing. I usually do the dom, that's all. Well, it'll make a change. You'll like it. And I've got another punter coming after you, so don't do it hard. I don't want marking. So you had this romantic picture in your head? You bought into a fantasy. She's not your perfect little daughter, all dressed up in ribbons and bows. She's a hooker, like her mother was. For Christ's sake, who told you that? Didn't need telling. Mother of God, is it written across my face or something? I make no wonder she's turned out the way she has. It must run in the blood. Maybe Carol was right. We got born to us all stamped on our foreheads. You're talking bollocks. Born to survive, maybe, but nobody's born to hustle. Well, how come? She was brought up in a posh house. Had everything money can buy. Books, music, the right schooling. And she's ended up just the same as me. How do you reckon with that, eh? Maybe she went looking for you. Never thought of that. Think she'd have been disappointed if she found you on lane pulling a trick? Yeah, I do. I think she'd have run a bloody mile. She wouldn't have cared if you'd had two heads. She'd have just wanted you to want her. I did want her. Do you? Yeah. Hey, Jason! 
Toast Watch no. Company. You're getting me all mixed up. Do you mean cleanse it or scrub it? Neither. Look, I'm sorry you've lost me. I'm just a cleaner. I'm no good with business type things. I'm best with a mop. Look, will you two bloody well shut up? You're off to school tomorrow. I don't know nothing about Mr Ferguson getting killed. I've never heard of anybody called Alfie, and I definitely don't know nothing about any new company being set up. So if anybody turns up, you know, say the old Bill, you know nothing, right? Well, that's the truth, I don't. He said something about signing cheques or something to me getting cash in hand, that's all. Oh, best say nothing, you know. I mean, better to keep your mouth shut if you know what's good for you. That's right. We're all a load of booey anyway. I've ended up win out. I think we can fix that. Mum, who's this that big car outside? It's mine. Do you want a ride? Oh, yeah. No. They'll be sick all over your seats. They've got bug. Shame that. <laughs> nice kids. First corner, love? Yeah, just right there in your life. Thank you. No, oh, my mother left home when I was five. My dad brought me up. Only he had a problem with the booze, and by the time I was 19, so did I. 19? When I was 21, I thought I'd find me mam, sort of birthday present to myself. So I set off looking for her. Is that how you got started in this business? That's how I got started in Armley Nick. She was easy enough to find. My Auntie Jean said she were in Sowerby Bridge. Not a very big place. So I got well tanked up, went and knocked on the door. This bloke opened it, about 30, I hadn't a clue who he was. I said, can I speak to Eileen Roberts, please? He said, nobody that name lived there. And then I heard my mam inside saying, who's at the door? I don't remember much after that. What did you do? The court said I smashed his face in with my fists, knocked most of his teeth out, kicked him in the stomach and broke two of his ribs. All I can remember is my mum saying she never wanted to see me again. She got in the back of the ambulance and I got banged up for GBH. Are you meddling, love? Why, he wants to know. Sharon round the corner sent us up to see you. She said you might be able to help us. Did she? You're not the old Bill, are you? Do we look like coppers? They come in all shapes and sizes these days, love. I worked the front line myself. I did the lane for half my life. What do you want, then? I'm looking for my daughter. Her name's Hannah. But Sharon said you've worked this patch for a bit. Ten year? What did you say her name was? Hannah Levison. She'd done a runner from her children's home in Sheffield. And before that, she lived in Manchester. Did she have black hair? Yeah, that's right. She used to knock around with a blonde chick called Colette. They worked this patch for a couple of years. They did well. Then one of them took some bad stuff. I think it were Blondie, or it might have been the other way around. Anyway, sent her off her head and the other one got busted. Oi! I'll have to go, it's my pants. What happened to her? Dunno. I never saw either of them again. I've opened a wound. I went to a grave and I asked her to forgive me. She will. She'll understand. It was just something that happened. Just a spur of the moment thing. We didn't plan it. Just. I'm a mother, Steve. Yeah, that's right. And that's why she'll forgive you. <laughs> just a way of being close to her. Don't talk shit. When you were between my legs, you weren't thinking of Gina. Jesus, at least be honest about it. Right, The only person I was thinking of was myself. What do you want? Do you want me to feel bad? I feel bad. Do you want to punish me? I am punished. It's all right, Dad. It's all right, love. It's only me. You've taken poorly again, love. You're in hospital. It's all right. I don't want you screwing that woman. I am not screwing Lisa. I'll give her a lift, that's all. Anyway, she's gone now. Gina didn't want me, Joyce. I'm not thinking of Gina. Nothing's ever going to be the same again, is it? Hmm. 
You be careful. Colette! Where are you? Come on. I want to speak to you. Hello? Is that Tracy's naughty massage parlor? <laughs> I know it is. What are you? I'm in the pub, so get your ass up here. I'm doing a fun time. I'll be a little while, yeah? Wait for me. See ya. Oh, is it? Jesus Christ! What's happened to you? You can drop me here. Where are you going? None of your bloody business. How much do I owe you? I haven't found it yet. Job's finished. Now then, have it on the house. Did a crap job anyway. Please yourself. Came home to make friends. Bought a rock for us to smoke. I kept saying the password, but he wouldn't stop. I screamed daddy at him. What are you a fat bloke with fair wavy hair? That's right. That's him I done. At the hotel, don't you remember? I told you I had to call him daddy. He wouldn't let me go to the toilet, don't you remember? You give him me. What are you doing? I don't take that off. <sighs> Why not? Give me your ankle back. Give it me. Mm. There's no secrets between us. Why? Because it stops me thinking. Because I see blood and I know I'm alive. You don't have to do that. I'll look after you. I promise I will never leave you. You won't go back to your punts, will you? I couldn't stand it if you did. Well, I'm not gonna. Taste the devil's sperm. <laughs> 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 anyway, I'm just stringing them along till I can get me on back. You can help me if you like. I'll do anything you want. It's just me and you together, right? Sorry about crossing on you. I, I don't I don't know why I do things sometimes. It's, it's as if I'm testing you or something. I want to love you, but I'm frightened that if I let myself go, you'll hurt me. 
everybody I have ever loved has hurt me. I will, I promise. It's my birthday today. Many happy returns. Stick another double in there, will you? It's lovely to see you too. Shall we go up? I thought we could have a little chat. Chat? What about? Just to get to know each other. I'm on a very tight schedule. I have to pick my wife up from bridge at half past nine. I'd have thought they'd have given you somewhat better than this. It's a bloody dump and it's filthy. It's standard police temporary property. Yeah, but you're not just a regular copper, are you? You're an inspector. Was. I've come to say. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? No. That's all right then. So you're all packed? Not yet. Where are you going this time? I don't know. <laughs> I suppose I can go anywhere I like now. Or stay if you like. No. Here you are. No, I'd have to find. Somewhere. Is that the bedroom? Yeah. I didn't say you could go in there. I see. Got somebody hidden, have you? It's not what you think, Carol. Ain't it? Little boys! He's my son. Your son? Shut the door, Dad. I'm sorry, Liam. That night. He's travelled up from Birmingham this afternoon. I think it's tired him out a bit. Taking him go kart racing tomorrow. What you looking at me like that for? I'm going to have to go. I can't get my brain around this. It's too weird. Why? Because I'm not just the bastard screw anymore. Because I happen to be a human being as well. A father, even. What's the matter? Can't you handle it? I'll tell you what I can't handle the colour of his skin. His mother were black, right? Is that a problem? Mm. You like screaming black women, do you? If I've got their choice, yes. <laughs> Keep your voice down, will you? God, you're a sick bastard! Suppose she were an hustler and all. No, she was a copper. <sighs> we trained together. I was married to her for nine years. Her name is Diana, and I adored the ground that she walked on. Her face, her character, her mind, and the colour of her skin. Do you know something? We must have shagged 60 times. And I know sod all about you. I don't even know your name. David. David? You don't look like a David. 
think I'll stick to Newell. You can call me what you like, as long as it isn't bastard screw. It suited you. Anyway, you like being called bastard screw. Did I? Mm-hmm. You bloody loved it. Just like you love me being a hustler. You love the friggin' battle. You couldn't keep me down. Bang them up in bed or bang them up behind bars. You think you've got the power? But one flash a leg and your brain drops between your bollocks. I wasn't looking for power. Don't make me laugh. You're a copper. It's what you get off on. Maybe. In the beginning. And now? What did you come round here for? I wanted to say sorry about losing your job. It seemed like it was my fault. No, I think I had something to do with it down the line. You could have come round later. Got no one to look after Liam. I'll see you then. Yeah. Do you know something? You even look different. Better or worse? I haven't decided. Well, when you have, you will let me know, won't you? I don't like gin. What was that, mistress? I said I don't like gin. I want some Malibu. I drink Malibu and Coke, not this rubbish. You could ring room service, mistress. Oh, could I? Well, how about you ring room service? Or better still, I've got a better idea. Why don't you go down to the bar and buy me a bottle? I'm sorry, mistress, but I'm not allowed out of the room. Who says? I'm your mistress, and I say if you can or you can't go out the room, and I say you can. Here you are. Here's 20 quid. Get down them stairs and fetch me a large bottle of Malibu, a bucket of ice and some lemon slices. But I don't do that sort of thing, mistress. Oh, don't you? Well, life is full of little surprises. What are you doing, mistress? I'm going to count from one to a hundred. And if you're not back with that bottle of Malibu, I'm going to let these trousers fly. One, two, three, four, five, six. A Malibu, a bucket of ice, and some sliced lemon, please. Excuse me, madam. Could you step over here? You lot are going to really screw things up for the coppers if you don't let me go soon. Because this pickup look is supposed to be contacting me. And if he gets wind that you lot are onto me, he'll drop me like a hot potato. Did you hear me? Are you deaf or something? Well, I've checked with DC Gregson. And I'm afraid he knows nothing about either you or a teddy bear full of cocaine. The lying bastards. He does know me. I've talked to him. Where the frig have you been? Doing a punter. He took a long time. I hope you bloody charged him plenty. I'll have a dry white wine. My mate got beaten up this way to see to her. Which mate's this? Colette. You don't know her. She's good. She's punter's coming out of here. Do you want a drink, Tracy? Who's that? Des has got me one, thanks. Where did you piss off to? I heard him come up the stairs. I tried to tell you, but you were out of it. How come everybody else got busted but you? Move. 
piss off. Where'd you find Bullet Brain? Dump him and come back to mine. Outside now. Touch my woman again and I'll rip your head off. Listen, man, I was just talking to well, her. Well, don't! Uh, uh, if I ever see you near her again, get dead! Do you hear? Dead! Smile, baby. Come on, let's go. Jonathan. No, I needed one anyway. I've been meaning to get one. I just didn't know whether to buy or find a good one. Anyway, we're only 50 quid. I rang my friend. She's been to her sister's. She's going to meet me off the train tomorrow. You're leaving me then? You'll be glad to see the back of me. It's been nice having you here. House hasn't seemed the same since. I'll take you down station. Thanks. It's best if I go. Who for? Do you? You lying bastard. I, I can't explain, Joyce. More lies, you mean? Where are the kids? Where do you think you're going? They're getting enough staying here. They bloody well are. You're bleeding out of me. You might frighten our Gina, but you don't frighten me. Will you stop it? If anyone's leaving, it's me. You're not. You leave where you want to, not when she tells you. She just come round here to cause trouble. I came round here to tell you my dad's died. Jim. Joyce! Is there anything I can do? Get rid of her! I meant funeral arrangements. There's nothing going on, Joyce. <laughs> Did you lie to our Gina and all? Oh, Jesus Christ, give me strength. No, I never lied to Gina. I lied to you because I knew you couldn't take it. What's the matter with you? You're acting like we're married or something. I just want... Yeah? Say it. Us to be together. What do you mean, us? I don't know what you're saying. I need... You just need time to get over your dad. That's what you need. It's all come as a bit of a shock as all this. Look, leave everything to me. I can ring round tomorrow, make all the arrangements. Will that help? Joyce? <laughs> Your charge. 50 quid. All right. 50 quid. Money up front in set. You've done a deal. Get in the car. So, you decided to give up the lane for your daughter, did you? We can drive around the back of the careers advice centre on Mill Lane. And I'm not giving you a blow job. You better look at that. I don't want to look at the picture of Madame Leather Knickers for. Madame who? Do you know her? Of course I bloody know her. 
She's your daughter. Oh, yeah, of course she is. But oh, come on, drive. This is costing you extra. I've got a contact at the Nick. That's a photocopy of a criminal record. Everything fits. Oh, hang on. She's here. Where the bloody hell have you been? Who's he? He's found Hannah. Here, take a look at that. Is this a joke? No. Are you going to be all right? This is Colette. She's changed her name. Old me, Carol. For God's sake, somebody old me. It's all right. You found him, love. <laughs> you know who she is. <laughs> Come on, Rose. <laughs> Come on. Colette! Does she know I'm coming? Yeah. I told her I'd bring you back. She wants to talk money with you. She'll be in dungeon. Come on. Hiya. Hiya. This is uh, Des, what I was telling you about. We met this morning. Tracy said he'd help me. So how much do you charge him for a straight flogging then? If the regular's about 40. Depends on how long it takes. So how much do you pull a week? She makes a fortune. How do you think she affords all this stuff? Look at these. <laughs> <laughs> now this is what they're really like. She does all sorts of nice things to in these, doesn't it, Claire? Yeah. I bet you do. Put your hand in. Go on. You can't know what it feels like, can you, if you're going to be looking after her? Don't I? Yeah. It's all right. Got the key. Me and Claire are going to do all sorts of nice things to you. <laughs> What are you doing? What we're going to do now, Tracy? Get me out of these. Tracy. <laughs> 